Yeah, five o'clock just came in hot off the presses. Uh, Cat three now initially this morning when they issued potential tropical cyclone nine, they had 110 mile per hour winds at Cat two kind of west of us out in the Gulf today that goes up to Cat three winds. So let's start there with the tropics. The big picture. We actually have two waves, the one that we're watching and then the one that's way out in the Atlantic. That one we won't need to worry about. So at least we can focus in on one. That's good news. Here it is. Recon's been out there. 35 mile per hour winds pressures dropped just a little bit from this morning with 1004 earlier 1003 movement is to the north northwest at seven almost looks a little bit more to the west than that too but that's where it's moving now now here's the forecast you can see the low level center is way down here look at all the convection all the big storms they're way offshore or off to the east so basically what we're going to be seeing is that trying to get better organized because right now it's not that organized but by overnight tonight Potentially a tropical storm. Helene, H E L E N E, is the next name on the list. This will likely be Hurricane Helene. And then by the time it's moving into the Gulf of Mexico Wednesday morning, there we go. Category one hurricane with about 85 mile per hour winds. Cat two, late Thursday or Wednesday night into Thursday morning. That's Thursday afternoon at two o'clock in the afternoon. 115 mile per hour winds right near the center, wherever the center is. Look, the center could come all the way over here to Tampa or it could come all the way over here. That's the air forecast track hasn't changed too much, but those highest winds will stay offshore. But just think Debbie, perhaps a little bit stronger, a little bit more wind, a little bit more surge. That's what this is looking like right now. Landfall would be Thursday afternoon, evening in the Big Bend area, and then it recurves off to the north and eventually the northwest. So. Yes, this is certainly something that we need to watch for. The forecast models are in pretty decent agreement, but there's been a little bit more of a spread by this afternoon. You can see this main area right in here. Closer it comes to us, the more weather we will get, the further away, the less weather we will get. OK, same deal that we did when we went through Debbie. We'll just have to see how strong it is and how close it gets to us. This is our forecast model. Let me show you real fast some timing. This is Wednesday at 6 p.m. Outer rain bands will start to affect us Wednesday evening. It'll get a little bit breezy, but nothing terrible. But these rain bands could have a small tornado threat in them. So we'll be watching that Wednesday night. Thursday morning at 8 o'clock, there's the center well offshore. But here come those rain bands on shore. We'll have to watch for some very heavy rainfall. And then the surge event would be Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. I'll go over all of this and the timing coming up here in just a little bit, my full forecast.